We'll get back to all those celebrations at Riverfront Stadium and at Fountain Square in just a moment. First, the other top stories of the day today. Officials at Dater Junior High School are under fire tonight after students there were shown a violent, bloody film in class. The video is called Three Faces of Death. It depicts actual events that are considered so gruesome that most video stores in Hamilton County refuse to carry it. Three Faces of Death was shown to 8th graders at Dater as part of an English project. The idea was to show violent crimes to students and then have them write papers on capital punishment. Some parents are outraged about this, though. I saw Three Faces of Death. I said, I saw about 30 seconds of that movie. And, I mean, I couldn't even finish watching it. It was disgusting. I mean, it really, I mean, it horrified me. You know, and, and I cannot even imagine why they would be showing this to 13-year-old children. The principal at Dater Junior High says students were given the option of either going to the library and uh, were not forced to watch the video. However, the video will not be shown again at that school. Despite threats from Hamilton County Sheriff Simon Lease, the movie Henry and June stayed open tonight. Henry and June is the first film to get the NC-17 rating because of its adult content and lesbian sex scenes. This afternoon at Showcase Cinemas, it was almost sold out because people were afraid Sheriff Lease might close it down. After seeing the movie, many wondered what the fuss was all about. Certainly the, the sex scenes were not offensive. Um, and certainly, in my opinion, not anywhere near what you could call pornographic. Channel 9 tried to reach Sheriff Lease this afternoon with no luck, so it's not clear whether his investigators were in the crowd of 300 moviegoers. We're going to go 